Okay. So what I saw before we switched off was, uh, let's see where we at here. This guy, this, uh, this inner goat. <laughs> so the, the inner goat here actually has a component on it called an animation, which is playing um, a idle sit animation. But then there's other animations uh, that are part of it. So the walk would be element seven in that. So I want to try to grab this component and use that to play an animation instead of a controller so this appears to me to be kind of a um, um a simple controller where we're not having to deal with transitions between those those animations based on triggers instead we'll have to say play this animation or play that animation at the times we need it but that might be good enough for what we have here so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give ourselves this uh access to this this inner goat and just to keep our spirits high, we will actually call it the inner goat. Public game object. Inner goat. And then we'll say this dot go anim is equal to this dot inner goat dot get component animation like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and say this dot goat anim dot play versions of this so we have we can give it the name of the animation we want to play all right and I think it was just called what walking just walk so we're gonna say play walk let's see if that's how we use an animation I don't know if I've ever actually used an animation component directly like that. So hopefully that is the way we access the thing. I need to now connect it up in here. We need to let this guy know about our inner goat. Come on. this out save it let's put it back in save it why shouldn't it say inner goat here Oh, that's not what I wanted. Saved it, right? Yeah. I've saved it multiple times and I removed it, then re added it. Thank <laughs> you. 
go to scene two, then go back to scene one. And then click on animals, wandering goat. Kill that. Okay, well, he's definitely there. I gotta like trick the thing to get a public variable to show up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You would think it's been around long enough that they wouldn't really have the issue of that. It says the scene controller cannot be loaded. I don't think I have any compilers in it. Oh. oh, that had to be it. It wasn't getting far enough to show me the error. So since the script had errors in it, but it wasn't, I wasn't getting the error message inside Unity telling me that it had errors until I reset it. There we go. Yeah, so not until I reloaded it does this actually try to recompile it. I'd still call that kind of a bug, but uh, less of a bug than I thought. So here's the inner goat. And that guy has the walk script. Okay, so playing walking by name didn't seem to do it. Thank you. 
Okay, so there's just a plain animation function. There's the animation play mode. Plays an animation. There's the plays an animation without any blending. I guess what's weird here to me is this animation on this guy has animations associated with it. And I want the seventh element. Okay, I think I see how it works. So we're going to say go in at bucket seven dot. It's the way it looked over here. So there's the animation play. Okay, so what's this idle animation thing called? Oh, hold on. That could have been the problem right from the get-go. I had that thing disabled. It's enabled. Now he's walking. There we go. All right, we just need to loop it. All 
And that is, we set the wrap mode. Animation play mode. I don't know what those are. Go anim dot wrap mode. With their dot repeat, or do we just need to keep playing it? So I have it playing now. Wrap mode. This dot go nm dot wrap mode is equal to wrap mode dot loop. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, he's walking. Okay, so now. I'm going to put that into a function here. Oh. So we're going to have a private void um make goat walk and that guy will walk with loop then we'll have a private void make goat idle and we're going to do pretty much the same thing except the name of that one is going to be uh, we'll just call it idle we'll just use the idle one All right, so initially we'll say this dot make goat idle. So it'll be idle at the very beginning and looping. And then when we call make goat walk, let's see this dot goat and m dot. Let's always stop first and then start the new animation. That way it cuts it off if it's in the middle of one. So when we do this, we'll say this dot make goat walk. Okay, so now the goat should be standing there idle initially. Yep, he's moving his head a little bit, blah, blah, blah. And then what I'm going to do is... I'll go ahead and invoke. Um, what's the name of my function here? Set to go next beacon. 
I'll invoke that guy on a delay. And we'll do it after three seconds. So after three seconds, uh, so Goat will be staying there idle. After three seconds, he'll start walking. That's going to call this function down here, which will make the goat walk as he's moving. And it should at least look reasonable, I think. So there he is standing there, moving his head a little bit. Then he starts walking. Probably going to slow down the speed of the nav mesh agent a little bit. Kind of moves across the scene a little bit, a little bit quick. So let's make his speed of two, maybe. See if he's a little bit more sluggish. Is that even still too fast? I think so. Well, we have to do. Uh, we can we can adjust the animation. I'm just thinking: is the goat moving at about the speed a goat should move? No, I think so. Yeah, I was. That's what I was thinking. Goats seem very lazy, like Edwin. Not as lazy as Shiva, though. Yeah. It's true. That's not bad. Anyway, I'm going to um, change the um, object name to Shiva, okay? <laughs> All right, so we have him moving around to uh, some different stuff. I'm a little concerned that this other dude is uh, putting his head through the wall because um, their wander script is a little bit sketch. But at the very least, if any of you are going to use these uh, farm animals, is he stuck on something? You got this. He's kind of twitching a little bit. Go to the scene mode and see what it is. Go to the, oh, to see what he's stuck on? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's got to be the beacon. It's the, it's the increasing though. I think he's he's hit running into the 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 beacon. It's not so if we take uh, what's that beacon for? It's beacon three. So if I turn off the capsule collider for that guy. If I turn off the nav mesh agent, yeah. So I think it was interaction between the nav mesh agents. I don't know if that's the end of the world. I mean, it's not something worth sitting here debugging, since there's not a real goal for having our go walk around for any real reason other than if you wanted to have something that walked around in a you know some sort of path you can take an approach like this where you have invisible beacons and and that kind of stuff uh otherwise you know if you just needed to add add some life to your scene uh, per is this too many chickens in one little spot yeah 
I feel like they would be kind of strewn about the farm a little more, right? Yeah. So let's move our move our chickens. Well, that's not what I wanted. Maybe that one will leave there. This one will kind of put out back here. Put this guy here. Put that guy over there. There's our wandering goat. We'll just say he's good enough. And there's our brown goat. And then we have a rooster there. Let's put the rooster kind of back over here. See if things look a little bit less hectic now. We got one chicken. We got another chicken there. There's our wandering goat. There's another chicken. There's our rooster. All right. So feels like there's a little life now in uh, in this scene. All right. So now you had. So, uh, uh, Tim, you were saying that you want to have like three guys that all can get to the same destination. Look at a line. There are like four guys in the state, roughly in a square. Do you want any of them to have them move individually? Yeah, do they ever need to move individually or is there always as a group? Um, I think it's kind of like we're marching soldiers. Yeah. Right, but what are you going to do with the soldiers afterwards? They scatter and run into the city and burn it. Okay. The way I would pull this off. Um, so here, let's do it in our scene two as an example. Um, Are we going to have an Yeah, maybe, actually. All right, so let me go ahead and get the, um, uh, actually, hold on, let me, I'm going to steal Mary from our scene here to use her in the second scene. Just so we have the first person dealio. So go ahead and delete that. Here's Mary. Mary has the first person character. All right, so. All right, so let me just get a plane laid down here. And we'll make this guy 10 by 10. Good enough. Shouldn't that have zoomed in?
Okay, so he's definitely moving. All right, so now we're going to put some chickens out here. I just wanted to give myself something to look at that wasn't uh, just a white plane. So let's throw some chickens out here. Whoa. That chicken flew off. That's what it did. It should be okay there. Let's turn the wander off. Why is he flying off? Turn the character controller off too. Why? Too close to our player or getting hit by something? Well, they're not. Uh, this is just mesh. I guess I could turn the collider off. Delete the chicken, put a pig out there. Is he going to fly off too? Or he does fly off. Look at that. Wait, are you falling? Uh, there could be some truth to that. Am I on the plane and is the plane falling? Right. Mm, plane is not doesn't have a uh, rigid body do I have a rigid body yes you do have a rigid body right above the audience I mean, so you could have been pushing the plane down yeah I think it's whoa. or maybe not oh you are look at your Y transform position Well, I have my gravity turned off. Unless, do things in here have rigid bodies? This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, yeah I see it. Well, so then I can add a rigid body to the ground and turn gravity off.
So we are we are falling. Why are we falling? It's weird that you're falling, but the plane is in. Oh, the plane is inside us. <laughs> okay, well, now at least it looks better. That that's a little bit more telling. I have a feeling that we are just oh, sunk into the ground. Well, that's okay. So the plane, we're going to get rid of the mesh collider, and we're going to add a box collider. There we go. Okay. I think where I, where I broke it when I drug that texture on there, I think it added a mesh collider for the texture when I put the grass on there. And Mary's moving around quite a bit there. All right. So we're going to have uh, three pigs that you want to have kind of in a, um, in a group. Yeah. All right, and you want those three pigs to like in, in that, a triangle like that? Yeah, like, like put a circle, like a cylinder, and have them walk around. Like that's the, the general idea. Okay, hold on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna create an empty object here. We're gonna call this guy pig group. We take those three pigs. I'm going to drag them into that pig group and I'm going to actually have this pig group be a nav mesh agent. Uh, do nav mesh agents have to be rigid bodies? I guess we'll find out. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a uh, We'll create a, a cube that we'll put over here. All right, and we want this guy to also be a nav mesh agent. That we're going to have the, the pigs walk towards as a group. Okay. All right. Now, what we can do is we can have, because you ultimately want these pigs to be able to go off on their own. Right? Yeah. Eventually. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually add nav mesh agents to the individual pigs. Okay. okay? But the um, I'm going to move the pig group as a nav mesh agent. So it starts moving towards my uh, uh, my destination. I think that should keep them in a, in a position. So let me, let's just add a script here. Create folder. And I'm going to create a C-sharp script in here. Um, just call this guy pig group. So pig group is going to know about a public game object. Um, let's call this um, goal. All right, then on start, we're going to say this dot. Get, why isn't it this like? 
it's not doing completion. This dot get component. Let's kill this real quick. No, but you, they, that shouldn't matter. I'm going to attach it to pig group here, so I guess I can drag it in there. I'm thinking it was just Visual Studio that... Get component. Now, oh, we got to using Unity Engine. Dot AI get the nav mesh agent and set his destination equal to goal dot transform dot position something like that. So they should now walk as a group towards those guys. So let me, here's my pig group. Let him know about the goal. Uh, set destination can only be called on an active agent. That, oh, I haven't made my nav mesh. Yeah. So here's my plane navigation, navigation static, walkable, bake. It's a little weird. Uh, I'm going to turn off their uh, the individual pigs wander script. Turn off their char uh, character controller too. So is the player dropping again? Yeah. Slowly but surely. On start, there is no gravity. On start. Destroy. <laughs> well, his kinematic will say that Mary won't impact the area around her. Why is that happening? Our plane has a box collider. I mean, Mary should have gravity. The plane doesn't go anywhere. Can 
Is the plane okay? The plane is dropping right now. Mary is dropping, but is Mary drop? Is the plane dropping on its own, and Mary staying with the plane? I mean, we can constrain its position on on Y. Now it can't drop. Okay, now we just need to put the pigs down on the mesh. Oh, I moved the group, but I didn't move the actual. No, the pigs in the group moved. It moves the group. Um, if you move the whole, like all the individual parts, it'll say that the group moved. But it is. It, 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 uh, Let me rebake the mesh now. Right, well, the pigs are trying to do something. They're trying to walk somewhere. Um, <clears throat> you reset the position of each of the pigs. What do you mean? Reset the position inside of the parent. Oh, you want them to be... Because I don't think the parent moved down. If you're trying to move the parent, then it's not in contact. All right, so now it's uh, at zero is the position of the pigs within the parent. You can see them trying to get there. Was the box moving? Maybe that's not close enough to the ground. That should be right on the ground. Oh, that guy's moving. Oh, hold on. I know what it is. Here's my pig group. Uh, just for the time being, I'm actually going to remove the nav mesh agents from the inner pigs. Here's my pig group. My pig group has a nav mesh agent, um, and it has a pretty high radius, but I want to I think it'll move better now. Yeah. The pigs themselves were impacting each other. So they all move now in a in a group, but because I had their nav mesh agents turned off or turned on, their radiuses were hitting each other. So they were preventing the whole thing from moving as a group. So now what you can do is once it reaches its destination, let's say you want them to run to some different places. So I'm going to have. Um, uh, this is actually going to be kind of cool. So. So part one, we have done moving group to destination. Now you want pig one to go one place, pig two to go another place, pig three to go another place. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give us our, our new places. So I'm going to add a add a couple of capsules. Three different capsules. We'll call this guy B1, this guy B2, this guy B3. For our beacons, and we'll go ahead and make these three guys nav mesh agents as well. Okay, so now once our pig group gets to uh, the destination, um, so I'm going to actually change my cube. I'm going to give it a tag to, we'll call the tag finish, just because it was already in there. Um, so we have a, a tag finish. I'm going to go to my pig group, and this guy has a, um, I'm going to look at its collider. So we're going to say on collision enter. Hey, there's a on destination of each. Uh, oh, is there something with navigation? Uh sure. On destination, um, I'm not seeing it in there at least. Capital O on destination. Let's just see. Oh, is it? Uh, who does it belong to? Um. Well, we can look at. The, let, let me just do it this way. This will work. So on collision, enter if. Collision dot game object dot tag is equal to finish. If that's the guy that we're going to, then we want to go ahead and turn off the nav mesh agent for this guy. And um, so we're going to say this dot get component nav mesh agent. Enabled is equal to false. So I just disable the nav mesh agent for this guy. Now I'm going to go ahead and give myself public variables here. So public game object P1. Now let's call it pig1. Then pig2, pig3. And then let's get our beacons. Beacon one, two, three. B two. B three. So now, once I've disabled the nav mesh agent for these guys, I want to go ahead and so I disable the nav mesh agent for this guy here. Now I want to enable the nav mesh agents for my pigs, and then set pig one's destination to B one, and so on and so forth. So this dot pig one dot get component nav mesh agent dot enabled is equal to true pick two pick three and then dot set destination to b1 oh thank you dot transform dot position
pick two, pick three. B2, B3. Okay. And then we need to hook those guys up. So when we collide with something that's finished, we uh, um, turn off our nav mesh agent, turn on the three individual pigs nav mesh agents, set their destinations to the three individual beacons. So now I'll come back out to here. Go to our pig group. Oh, should we separate them so they're... Um, I think I actually think it'll be okay because the, we've disabled the other ones. We might have to enable them in in order or something. So let's play with that a little bit. But so here's pig one, pig two, pig three, beacon one. Beacon two, beacon three. Okay, let's see what that guy looks like. Uh, let's make sure it's getting into that uh, code first. Print here. Saved. All right, it is not getting into that code. And it's because of the same thing from last time. This needs need to be a rigid body. Same exact problem we had the uh, on the other scene. Yeah, I'm gathering that. We actually wanted to, we can have this guy be a, well, we don't want it to be a trigger. I actually think that this guy won't be the rigid body. It'll be our pig group that needs to be the rigid body. Because that's the one that's getting the call back. We'll turn gravity off, though. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we're just not getting into the tag piece of this. Uh, I think I probably know what the deal is. We don't actually have a collider on our pig group. There's our box collider. Edit coll Ooh. Collider's nowhere near the pigs. <laughs> Yo, know, I did that. Um, so you can uh, select the pigs and then you can 
on the transform, you can right click and say reset. All right, well, let's see how that looks. All right, well, you see they did what you wanted them to do, even though we had some other gravity issues <laughs> going on here. But I, that's the approach I would use. Okay. Just deal, mess around with turning on and off nav mesh agents to get them to either move as a group or move individually. Sound good? Yeah. All right, so I'll just get you pointing in the right direction. All right. I will see everybody next week. Make sure you keep working on your project. Keep, uh, as he asked before, keep keep track of your uh, hours because remember you're going to have to say that I did enough work to make this work. Um, so that means if you're really, 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 really good at Unity, that means your hours probably should go farther than other people's hours. But if you are a beginner at Unity, your hours should get to some reasonable level based on what we should have in this class. But you know, for instance, maybe I would expect. Tim's final project to be a little bit more um, uh, polished than like Edwin's final project because this is your first time using Unity and Tim's used it quite a bit. But I still expect your final project to be something good. I just expect his to be something bigger, more more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bigger but not better. <laughs> you bigger but not better. I think that's a fair assessment. What you do, I expect to be good. What I, what he do does, I expect to be good. I just expect him to get more done. Sound good?